Okay, next project we're just gonna work on or wait on parts for some other projects. We got a Yamaha CR2020 that a customer dropped off. It's working. Uh, speaker relay sounds like it might be cutting out or energizing at different times. He says it will work and then it'll just stop working. Um, I wasn't really sure on the sound if it was the speaker relay or if it's just a volume pot getting dirty. So we're gonna op we're gonna try playing it first. Then we'll open it up. We'll do some cleaning, deox it the pots, and we'll take a look and see what happens. I'll keep you updated as I go. Okay, so I plugged her in. Speaker relay does not even come on. So no further uh, investigation due there. Gonna open it up and we'll start taking a look inside. Thought I'd show how to do this with these wood cases in case you haven't done it. Just flip it on its side. Again, have a towel down. Keep the uh, keep the unit from getting scratched up and stuff. And on the bottom, you'll see the five screws with their little plates. Uh, we'll take those out, and then the unit will slide out from the back. And then everything will be exposed, so you should could uh, start looking at it, start testing things, and working on the unit. I'll keep you updated. Quick update. As you get the feet out, you then lay it back down and you can see how she'll slide out from the front. Make sure you pull the cord, you know, through there so you don't damage the cord or pull it out or anything. But that's how you get it out. You pull that case the rest of the way off, set the uh, chassis back down and we can start our work. Okay, here we go. We got the Yamaha 2020. She's opened up, sent down, taking the first look. Uh, pretty, not really dirty, but she is dirty could tell she must have sat sat outside for a bit at some point in time you can see uh, the paint starting to come off on the transformer not a big deal some people will repaint them with some high temp paint but I don't think the customer is going to want that part I think they just wanted to get it up and going I uh, see some dust building up down inside dirt so we'll give it a cleaning we'll check out the uh, power supply board the speaker relay make sure everything on that looks good first of all and then we'll start looking at some other stuff to get down to all the pots which are down down inside there kind of hard to see we'll have to do a little bit of removing of some items to get in there and get everything cleaned we could also clean all the uh, switches while we're at it to make sure it all works good just give it a general look over and then we'll start going from there as i find uh, issues i'll try to record them so i could uh, keep track of them for people that are looking for a little info okay back to the yamaha cr 2020 what i'm going to do first of all since this is not coming out of the speaker protect we're going to take the power supply out here <clears throat> check the relay <clears throat> excuse me but also i noticed that um we'll check the uh, transistors i know there's some upgrades to be done on this part of the board here i remember from seeing a uh, someone that had a yamaha service video and there's some resistors and we'll go through and check these look for cold solder joints the way we're going to do this is there's some screws located here and here and then we will gently remove it from the uh, connector get it up where we can work on it probably have to take out these connectors here it looks like or at least these two here so we can flip the board up and see from underneath and then there'll be some screws on this board that's sitting vertically a uh, little bracket and then we'll get this out and we can look at that and i'll show you the upgrades that a, um, i saw on a service bulletin from a video i was watching a long time ago all right okay got those two boards up for the power supply i try to show you what we're going to be replacing the um what the the service bulletin says to do Underneath there, right, oh, got the camera moving here. Right here, this resistor and this resistor, those, they're telling us to change them to some 33 ohm, three and a half watt. I'll go out to my shop and see what I have. Probably have some five waters um, <clears throat> if I have them. If not, I'll have to order them. Then there's two uh, fusible resistors that they tell us to remove and to change to 220 or to 22 ohm three and a quarter watt 
and that is this guy here and this guy here so i'll see what i have in stock i might have to order parts i'm not really sure most of the stuff i have is from jukebox repair and i'm just now starting to stock up on stereo equipment repair stuff or parts um, we'll also check the capacitors and then <clears throat> uh, tells us to check these two let me try to straighten around here for you all these two transistors i'll check them but in that service bulletin it said to remove them from the 2sd 234s replaced with the 2sd 525s i'll um i'll see what i can find i'll check them first then uh we'll also go through the capacitors i'll probably just order a see if i can find a capacitor kit for this guy so it won't be a, a quick project so i'll have to wait for parts to come in but as I uh, rebuild stuff and then uh, I'll show videos, we'll then check to see if she comes into, if the speaker protect relay will energize and if we can start getting some, uh, some noise. Okay, so I pulled out one of those transistors they're talking about. We've got it hooked up to the tester. We can uh, test and see what she's reading. It'll tell us where the uh, emitter, base, and collector are all at. So it's an NPN transistor. Let me write that down and then we can scroll through we have our red is emitter so we know the emitter is on this side tells us our green is the collector so and the blue is or the blue is our base so I have that written down so I know exactly how that is supposed to be I mean I can put it in one way because I have the heat sink on there and everything but in case you have to find a replacement um, and it's not the same, you know, you have to turn the legs around and stuff like that. Uh, it'll also tell us um, what the current gain is and I can go try to find a factory spec sheet to make sure everything is within the parameters that it's supposed to be. And um, she's looking pretty good actually. So I'm going to test the other one and we'll go from there. Okay, so I ordered um, back, well, I'm still on the Yamaha, the uh, 2020, ordered all the capacitors, ordered the two new transistors, ordered the resistors that I needed for the, for the uh, service bulletin upgrade. Uh, well, I had those boards out, went ahead and touched up all the solder connections on, the, on this connector back here and there. And on this board, because uh, that was one of the things I've read that you get a lot of cold solder joints. I looked around at some other solder joints that uh, looked like they were cracked, soldered them up, put it all back together just for safekeeping right now. And I figured, hey, let's uh, let's see if this speaker relay kicks in. I hooked up a pair of uh, what I have out here in the garage, some Klipsch Forte speakers. But let's see what we uh, if we can get this relay to click on now because it wasn't clicking before. So here we go. Hey, it clicked on. Let's uh, see if we got a radio, got a radio station and let's, hey, we got static. We got some radio. Not great reception up here on the island, but we got a little bit there. She's working. Let's go left channel, balance, there we go. Right side, hey. So she is, uh, she is working. So yeah, what we'll do is um, wait for some parts. I'll rebuild the power supply at least to make that last longer. And then I'll ask the, uh, the owner if he wants these boards, the uh, output boards rebuilt also. Uh, I'll do some more cleaning because I said it was dirty in here. And we'll check all the lights. Seems like most of the lights are working, but some are not. I think I have some lights in for a 1020 of my own that I've never used yet, but I'll ask him and uh, we'll finish this up when we get some parts in. All right, thanks.